Hey everybody, Chris White here with Austin Custom Brass, and today I wanted to talk to you about some of our most popular and also most affordable uh, B-flat tenor trombones uh, that are large bore with F attachments. So we have the Brass Spire, we have a JP Rath, and we have two different Manchester Brass ones that I'm going to go over. We'll kind of compare the similarities, contrast the differences, and uh, talk, talk to you about each one and maybe play a little bit on each one as well. So don't go anywhere. Alright, first of all, let's talk about uh, what all four of these particular horns have in common. Um, one, they're all large bore or large shank instruments, meaning they carry 0.547 bore size, so you'll use large shank mouthpieces with these. Um, they all have eight and a half inch bells, and then they all have um, F triggers, and these, all four of these particular models are also all open wrap. Um, so the space that you would find yourself playing these in mostly would be areas like classical or symphonic settings, so like concert band, symphony orchestras, um, also very suitable for chamber music things like brass quintets, but you could also slide these into sections in like a jazz band um, and things like that, and, and I think that you would have enough projection and oomph on the sound to, to fit those applications as well. So let's talk about each one of these. The first one over here on my right is the Brass Fire Unicorn 206. Um, check out uh, all the listings for these as well. I've done individual videos on all these, but I wanted to kind of do a nice comparison of all these as well. Um, this one is about as straight down the middle of a horn that we sell in this uh, category. It's a uh, yellow brass bell. Um, once again, eight and a half inch large bore, uh, a very standard, very standard rotor, um, but a beautiful looking instrument, a beautiful playing instrument. Uh, has a nice projection, a nice tone to it. Everything's just kind of bam, right in the middle of the pocket. Um, would feel 100% comfortable taking this out on a gig um, and sitting right in and fitting right into a, an orchestra section with this. The next one is our JP Rath 3320. Um, o stands for the open wrap. We also have available uh, to order a 332 that has a more closed wrap setting. Um, I personally prefer the open wrap stuff just because I think they blow a little more freely, but there are those that prefer the closed wrap style because they feel like when they press the trigger um, that they, they like the little more resistance to kind of push against. So it really depends on your playing style. Um, as with the others, eight and a half inch bell, large bore. This particular one has the open wrap. Um, now the Rath thing means that this was designed with uh, Michael Rath, which is one of the UK's leading trombone specialists. And the um, lead pipe specifically was designed directly with, uh, by Michael Rath. So, um, but yeah, John Packer and Michael Rath have come to a beautiful collaboration and has made some incredible horns. This one is unique to the others in that it has the more narrow slide that you would find pretty common in cons or Yamaha instruments. Um, and how that affects the sound is it makes it a little more compact. So your brass fires and your Manchester's follow kind of what I would call the Bach model, um, where the sound is a little more uh, spread out and a little more whoosh versus this sound is a little more centered. Um, it really just kind of depends on your playing style. So if you're one of those that maybe already plays really heavy, something like this could help kind of get that sound uh, a little more focused for you. Um, if you, if you, tend to play a little more centered and, and smaller, um, perhaps something like when the wider, uh, the wider slides with the, the more broad sound would help broaden that sound out. So it really just kind of depends on your playing preference and, and how you feel whenever you pick up the horn. Um, this is a beautiful instrument, has a, a, it's kind of a gold brass sort of finish throughout most of the instrument, has a really nice mellow tone. Um, and yeah, you'll see whenever I play it a little bit for you later. <laughs> These two are our Manchester brass trombones, and um, we'll talk about this one first. This is their what they call the TB01. Um, 
very similar to the Brass Fire in that it has um, the standard rotor, you know, standard eight and a half inch bell, um, and the has the wide slide approach uh, that we talked about earlier. Um, but this particular one has a red brass bell, so that makes it a little bit different from the Brass Fire as far as um, specifications. Uh, plays very similarly, has maybe a slightly a slightly darker um, sound than what the yellow brass bell would give, um, but still has good good articulation, good projection, um, good response throughout the instrument. And then finally, this is Manchester Brass's TB02. Um, now this one, the differences between this and the 01, um, the, still carries eight and a half inch bell, large bore, but it has a removable lead pipe. I'll kind of do this a little bit for you and kind of get up close. Um, makes it easier for kind of cleaning this area of the horn. Also, um, the threads perhaps could be could be worked to um, go with other lead pipe manufacturers, uh, such as like Shires or Edwards. I think Bach even makes some removable lead pipe horns. So you might even have some options there to change change out your lead pipes, which would change the size essentially of of kind of how how fast or how wide it gets um, towards this part of the horn. Um, and that's your initial attack. And so that's gonna affect the way the horn plays in a pretty great deal. So um, might be worth checking into that. But then th this one also has um, their take on kind of a harmonic brace. Um, and in playing both of the horns, I definitely noticed that this one seems to respond a little more um, punchy. Uh, it just kind of sort of slots the notes just really instantly um, and has a little bit more uh, kind of focused sound uh, it's hard to describe. It's still still wide because it still has that wide slide um, sort of approach, that, that more broad sound, but there's kind of a, it, it's kind of like it sort of narrows it out just a little bit, not quite as much as the JP Wrath, but, um, but hopefully you'll hear it as it comes across in the, in the recording whenever I play here in just a little bit. Um, and this particular one also has a yellow brass bell compared to the red brass bell. Um, probably kind of helps even even all of those sound things out so um yeah let me just play a little bit for you so what i'll do um i'm going to adjust the volume on the microphone a little bit so i don't blow you all out um but i won't talk in between i'll just kind of pick up each horn play a little bit of metal stuff play some articulated stuff and just uh, kind of give you a little quick overview of how each of them sound i'll start with the brass fire then i'll go to the jp wrath then i'll do the manchester tb01 with the red brass bell and then I'll finish up with the TB02 um, that has the removable lead pipe, the harmonic brace, and the yellow brass bell. So uh, hang tight, let me adjust this real quick and we'll get started. Thank you. 
So there you go. Hopefully you could hear some of the subtle differences between each one. Um, like I said before, they, they all fill that kind of same space in that more symphonic classical style. So they're all going to carry a pretty similar sound profile. But, um, you know, if we could talk a little bit about some subtle differences. Hopefully you heard that the brass fire really does kind of have sort of the most middle of the road sound in it. Which isn't a bad thing. It's just right in the pocket. Um, just good old, just right in the middle trombone sound. And then definitely there's a little bit more of a narrow sound with the JP Rath. And I think the whole, the, the gold lacquer kind of throughout um, just sort of mellows that out even more. So there's, a, there's kind of a, a richness to it. Um, but maybe a little harder to project on some really heavy stuff if you needed to. But if you're the type of player that already has that heft, this might be perfect for, for giving you that balance on the other side. Um, I feel like the Manchester TB01 plays very similar to the Brass Fire. Um, a similar sound profile, maybe a slightly slightly darker, slightly more mellow because of the, the red brass bell. And then, yeah, hopefully you heard a little bit more of the kind of bite and sort of projection of the, uh, the TB02 Manchester with the harmonic brace and the removable lead pipe. Also with the yellow brass bell, so it's not going to have as, as dark of a sound. It's going to be a little bit more, more punchy and a little more bright. So anyways, these are... Uh, some of the most popular trombones that we sell as well as some of the most affordable so if you're looking to uh, get into a, another, a new horn get into something with a large large bore trigger um, man I can't highly recommend any one of these enough uh, check out our listings on our website austincustombrass.biz and if you have any questions at all never don't ever hesitate to email us call us um, they can get emails to me as well uh, just info at austincustombrass.com. And yeah, would love to chat with you and, and get you into one of these um, sometime in the near future. So hopefully this was informative and I uh, hope you all enjoyed it and had a good time as well. So take care.